Welcome back to Mad Ginger Customs. Um, we got a new project. We dragged another dead one home. I don't know if it runs, but we're going to give it a go. I'm Dave. I'm Jess. And we're going to try to get this 1980 P15 value van running. And not only that, it's going to be our new project for the channel. And we're going to build this hog into a hot rod ice cream truck. Let's go. All right, boys, we are back. And uh, I brought home another junk. Saw the intro. Uh, Jess is um, disabled a little bit. Still got the bad ankle. So she's not going to do a whole lot of moving around. So she's going to handle some stuff on the inside. And I'm going to give you the quick walk around, right? 1980 P15. It is steel. It's not aluminum. She's got some rot. We're not a, we're not scared of that. She's uh, got a lot of bondo. We're gonna cut a lot of that out. And uh, she's missing some parts. The guy I bought it from had this thing in a tow yard, and he had some guys working with him that were rebuilding another one of these that had like a engine fire. So he's you know the the ad was for parts. So I hit the guy up, I said, hey, you know, um, what do you want for the whole thing? And he's like, well, you know, I'll take X amount of dollars. And I said, done. And he's like, really? And I said, yeah. I said, that's reasonable. He goes, well, it's missing some parts. I go, let me take a look. So I brought my trailer and I drove to Rhode Island. And uh, here's how that went. Undisclosed location in Rhode Island. Getting the new project. This gentleman was nice enough to hold this for us. So, 1980 GMC step van. Needs work just the way we like it. So, let's just hope I can do the simple task this gentleman has asked me to do. You know, he's making our life so much easier. Nice guy. Got a towing company. He, uh, I guess he's got a guy here that rebuilds these things, and uh, they use them for parts. And this one, he's like, "Hey, I'd, I'd love to get rid of it all as one piece." And I'm like, "I'm your guy." So we're not paying all the money for it. She's got some rot, but technically, this thing only has like, I don't know. It says forty thousand, but it, it's a hundred and forty. <laughs> This is how you do it when you were a professional. This is awesome. Yeah, so nice guy. Threw it on the trailer for me. I brought it home. Uh, my black truck, for some reason, is losing oil pressure. <clears throat> That's scary. Uh, it's an LS with, uh, it idles about 15 pounds of oil pressure. Not good. So anyway, what do we have here? Right, this thing is 292 straight six. It is... Missing the upper radiator hose, it's missing the air cleaner. It's missing all the lighting, bezels, all this type of nonsense. It had a seat in it. Hey. I have a seat. Yeah, it had a driver's seat, but it was brand new. The guy says, look, I promised it to the guys that are rebuilding it. I can't give you the seat. I said, whatever. We'll make some sheet metal dimple dyed hot rod seats for it. But overall, it's all here. Tires hold air. Let me see if I can climb into this thing without killing myself. So, it's got a good wrench 292. That is a very large six cylinder. Looks like a turbo 350, right? So, I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, like locked up or anything because I didn't check because I told the guy, I said, he goes, oh, it runs. And I go, how would you know that? It's missing. The ignition switch it's missing the light switch it's missing all the accoutrements so and ahead of time of this video i bought i think this is the right one it did plug in obviously we haven't put power to this thing yet so let's go give the belt a tug 
and then if we can get her to just roll over we'll throw a battery in it we'll put the loser switch on it because the starter's right there and Jess is gonna play clicky clicky for us <laughs> so what else are we looking at here truck's got rot right it's got a cool radio <laughs> sweet high power auto reverse that's a nice unit Has a VIN tag, that's good, so we can register it. Needs some glass, right? Missing the blower motor over here. Not sure what this thing is, so we maybe just take it out, I don't know. Or maybe we make something cool right there, maybe the cup holders or something, right? Moving into the back. This is what came in this truck, guys. I'm gonna show you this thing. This thing was laying face down. And the guy, it's a couple cores light in here, in case you guys get thirsty, there's like, this is a Hyundai part. It's this front bumper, maybe the lip for one. I don't know. It came with it. Guys, this thing is an LED backlit sign. And we didn't know because this was face down. And he says, hey, you, you know, you want to help me drag that out? We could, I'll just throw it out in my dumpster. And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe I'll just take it home and we'll see what it is. So we got it home and my son and I got this thing flipped over. I think that'd be a cool, like, um, a garage hanger. So it's huge. it is huge. So what we do is here we would you know blow the side out of it We'll build a frame. We'll have a window. It'll either slide. We'll put a little counter out here We'll have like a you know a freezer back here We're not doing soft serve out of this hog It would just be like this thing would be for like events You know if you had a birthday party or like you know a graduation party or we bring it to the racetrack Maybe we'll bring it to the racetrack and we'll drop it down. So man, that's a little bit of rot right there. But these panels like are screwed in. So I think we can unscrew them, get to the roof on the outside, just rot it over here too. Not a big deal, but does it run, right? And guys, here's here's the here, whoa, you take your head, head, you'll take your head that right is off. Low. It is low. You guys probably don't know this by watching our channel, but um Kind of what I was known for back in the day is turbocharging things. I turbocharged all kinds of things. If this six cylinder runs, has decent oil pressure and sounds reasonable, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a homemade turbo kit and how to basically turbocharge anything. So it's not gonna be in this video, it'll be the next video. We'll have to see how good this motor really is. What is the chance that we can pull it by the belts? Oh, <sighs> yeah, right. Ugh. Yeah, right. I think this thing is probably locked up. All right. Well, now what? Let's see. Oof. None of that is positive. This might be a short video. Um, what do we got in here? No, it's not. The crank isn't. The accessories are moving. Oh. Okay. All right. Got a breaker bar on it, guys. That was like a nightmare. The fan's in the way. So we're just going to try to give it a... No, the bolt's just tightening. Yeah, right. Nope, the bolt's tightening. So that's no good. I can't break this thing front three from the crank and I don't have the uh, the tool for the flywheel. So I think what we're going to do is try to put a battery in it. I got a Jeep battery. Maybe we can just try to break it free with the starter. And if this thing lights on fire, get out of it with your gimpy leg. Yeah, I'm going to be fast at that. Okay, I'm just going to tap it so I don't know how much of this wiring is any good. There's no draw. We're going to try to flick this thing. So I've got this ignition switch. Oh. That's the wipers. Okay. <laughs> How do you turn those off? Where's the wiper switch? That was funny. Oh, this looks like. What that? Let's try that. Okay. Hold on. Oh, they work. They work. That's cool. Oh, oh, fail. Broke. Okay. 
Oh, oh, it turns over. Holy crap. Wait, did the belt, the belt move, right? Uh, can you... Oh, yeah. Yes. <sighs> Wait, what? <laughs> well, uh, hey, that's... That, you didn't even look. Try it yet. From fighting 14 hours with the shoebox. You were prepared for war. I was worst. prepared for war with this thing. Okay. So, you know what? Maybe we should just go like balls out. Disconnect the fuel pump. And it's an HEI, right? See that right there? That's a GM HEI distributor. Those things are pretty reliable. I think what we should do is, and you're gonna be, have to be ready to jump out in case there's. Jump is not really. <sighs> Look, in you my can age. roll. You hit the ground and you roll. Abilities roll. Right now. <laughs> we're gonna get some gas and we're just gonna, maybe some two stroke and we'll throw it down the carb. Just happens. so we can get it, if it can bark. And then we'll disconnect the fuel pump. And so we'll see, I don't even know how long this thing's been sitting, so he didn't tell me. But by the looks of everything, it's been sitting for mm -hmm. a significant amount of time. All right, let's get some gas. Ugh, God. Watch yourself. At <sighs> once we get this thing off the trailer, I think it'll be easier to work on. Yes, but, but fun fact, I measured this from like the roof line to the bottom. And guys, can you see behind me? That's our guitar, our uh, garage. That garage is not tall enough this way. To put it in. So we'd have to cut out. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, well, Je okay, Jess objects. All right, so what we have here is, this actually is two-stroke mix for the, we just did a boat video. So um, if you guys haven't seen that, check that out. We go through the outboard, try to get it to run. Um, it was pretty interesting, I thought. So what we're gonna do is throw some, some of this right down the yap. And if it barks, cool, we're gonna move forward. Oh, here we go, I guess. I'm gonna get a fireball in the face. I'm gonna back up a little uh, bit. Thanks. That's way too much. Oh God. Okay, here we go, ready? Uh. <laughs> Wait, why, are you Wait, why are you backing up? I already got my exit strategy. <laughs> Okay, it sounded like it popped a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe it needs more. Oh it's a she's a big one. She's a big six. Ready? <laughs> Hold on. There's a choke here. I don't. There we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Battery's dead. I was gonna say it's whining. I didn't hear a pop yet though. We're gonna have to check spark. All right, let's just pull this one because it's close. There we go. Not super tight. Let's see what this looks like. Maybe we should just pull them all. That's wet. I bet there's no spark. <laughs> um, okay. That's a vacuum leak, so let's try to remedy that. That's, that's fine right there. I don't know what goes in here. You gotta plug this hole. <clears throat> I think I inhaled way too much gas. I was gonna say, something is, uh... Let's just plug it in here. I don't think Turn that's even a, I don't know, whatever. All right, so what we're looking for here is hopefully it'll ground through this. And then you're gonna get, you're gonna get close up on this and we're gonna see if we can see a spark. Let me see. Hold it. Ready? <laughs> okay, I saw a spark. Yeah, and stuff just flew at me. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, I saw a spark, right? I'm gonna go again. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. You know, the guy's like, oh, it runs, I know it runs. I'm like, well, I don't think you do, but. Can they all say that? Yeah, it's Facebook Marketplace, they all say that. <laughs> <clears throat> it was a Sunday driver. Driven by a 90-year-old woman, just went to church. 
Just a church vehicle. She drove a church vehicle? This is a different spark plug. See how his boot's different too? That's telltale that there's probably ignition issues. I assume. Ooh. Oh no. I think it's got water in it. You said the other one felt wet. No, no. This one has water. Oh, in it. In it. Yikes. Like the head gasket's probably bad. <laughs> well, I guess we could be done. <laughs> Watch out, I'm gonna hit it. Shine it over, look over here. Don't get too close. Because if water comes out of it, you're on the camera. Ready? Mm -hmm. See how it turns over way better? I see liquid. In there? Yep. Oh no. I don't know what it is, but I see liquid. <coughs> well, the head gasket's probably bad. There's liquid in there? Like floating in there? Do you want to look while you turn it? Well, I can't look and turn well, it. Well, I can turn it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, boy. oh. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Man, that's that's probably not good. Let's pull the other ones. Yeah, it runs. <laughs> Underwater. You got excited for a minute there. I know. It turned over. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm not gonna have to fight with one for once in my life. <laughs> that's what happens when you buy garbage. Later. He's coming in to check it out. That's right okay. there. This one's like bone dry. This one's bone dry. Let me see. Instagram? Mm -hmm. Bone dry. See like that? rusty dry. Yep. But it looks like there were bed and water on it and it's rusted. That's a rusty Jones. No, there's no water in there. So what was that? No, the water might be in the cylinder. Like the combustion chamber, oh, and he yeah, like pushed yeah, out the yeah, exhaust. Yeah. It's worst case scenario. Survey says. <clears throat> it's got barnacles. See the barnacles? Is it a boat? I mean. We got water and barnacles. It might be a boat anchor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to number two. A little bit of fuel. The spider's attacking me. He's interested. Oh my God, it's arachnophobia up in this P, up in the P-15. Are you, are you guys scared of spiders? We have a tarantula that lives our in our- daughter has a tarantula. Yeah. <laughs> it just molted. It was actually really cool to it watch. Cool. This one looks like, see that? See, that's rusty. So what we're gonna do, is I think we should just wing this hog over and see if we can't blow some of that crap out of there. You know? Oh, is he on the water? That's not good. Yikes. It's literally all wet over here. Where? In this area. In that area? Mm -hmm. All right, well. Oh, I have some on my arm. It's okay. It's all gross. right. All right, so that cylinder, that's why it turned over hard, is because it was probably half hydro locking on the cylinder. When that came up, it was trying to compress water, went back down. I mean, honestly, at this point, it looks like it needs a head gasket, but why not just try to get it to run on the five? We'll try to get it to run on the five, guys, and then we'll just make decisions. Like, what does life look like for us moving past this? I didn't put this one plug in it, and obviously that cylinder's not going to fire anyway because it has a it has some type of ocean in it or something. So we're going to try this again with all the fuel. Yeah, like I don't even know. 
how good this gas is. This is old. No, that's good. All right, ready? Ready. Okay, that that's promising. Oh. Are you getting wet? Do you want to move? Something's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. All the gas. Mm -hmm. I am covered <laughs> in something. Yeah, look at the window. Look at the window. Yep. <laughs> that looks fun. All right, well. Shaking the whole truck. <laughs> the whole truck. But it ran. Oh, it stinks. I know, it's so bad. All right, let's put this plug back in it. Is that what it's supposed to sound like? Well, no, because we're losing compression. Every time the piston comes up, instead of using that stroke to make power go out the exhaust, it's pushing out of the cylinder, out of the spark plug hole. Mm. So, I mean, it sounds to me that's stinky yeah probably got a head gasket problem but at this point i don't care i mean if it's hurt it's hurt it sounded like it was running like off the fuel in the tank i mean normally i'd be like i don't want to ruin it and i don't want to clog up the carburetor but if the motor's no good anyway who cares let's just run it you know mazel mazel little vice grip garage for you there huh <laughs> All right, let's try it again. I guess I'm just going to flick it. We'll see what happens. Whoa. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. oh, maybe it didn't have fuel. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's do this. We're going to gas here. But... I'm flooded it. That's definitely flooded. Thanks, honey. Thanks for that. <laughs> I'm reading the direction. I, I understand how it'll start. I've done this before. Yes. Direction. There is instructions. <laughs> you know, in case you're an idiot and you've never started anything before. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So if we take this out, this plug, it's hopefully not wet. It's not wet. That's good. All right, let's try to turn it over and see if it spits out again. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, no, no. Okay. So, hmm. let's put the plug back in because it's not wet. And if this is the case, guys, and this thing is... uh. You know, needs a head gasket, whatever. Probably does need a head gasket. Maybe we'll throw some like bars leak in or something just for now. And we'll see if we can get it off the trailer. necessarily no all right here's what we're gonna do we're gonna disconnect here and maybe we'll get the boat tank out of the shoe box right so let's do that let's pull that off of there you probably already plugged it up Something's we're running it down. definitely in my eye 
Yeah, this thing like hawked. Ugh. So I have an upper radiator hose for this, guys. The upper radiator hose was gone. Maybe that's all involved in the, the whole issue of, is there, oh, is there gas? I hear it dripping. Oh, it smells awful. Oh Did my you God. Wait, do you hear that? Yeah. So if we get our boat tank and we hook it up there and we set it here, maybe it'll run on the carburetor. So let's try that. That looks like 3 8 fuel on, and this is only 5 16 so we may have to spit on it. All right. Now that smells like gas, <clears throat> and not two stroke. Stop it. I mean, it stopped. Yeah, I meant you can let off the gas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what we can do is. That's the throttle stop. Maybe we can throw more idle at it. If it will turn. Try that. Oh, wait. I don't see an accelerator pump. It's smoking. I don't think there's an accelerator pump. Maybe the reason the cylinder hasn't fill, filled up with water is because there's no water in it. Do you guys keep your clamps organized? Ziploc. Giant Ziploc bag. All right. The fact that that thing stayed running off the boat tank, I want to try to drive this off the trailer. Don't, don't, why? Why are you giving me that look? You guys should see Jess's face because it's always written on your face. Because everything seems dangerous to me. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> Danger is my middle name. Well, I have to be the sensible one. Oh, you're the adult in this relationship? <laughs> she always has been, guys. All right. Now, if I fall off this trailer at um, any point today, okay, we both just keep it running. <laughs> can't be injured. <laughs> uh, uh. All right. I'm not tall enough to get... That's okay. They they know I'm putting a radiator hose on. I'm really short down here. I feel like if you could just be taller, that'd be great. Go, go, gadget legs. You need those Lieutenant Dan legs. Now, this hose, clearly not the right size. Clearly. It's, she's a little, she's a little spread here. She's spready. This one is okay though. I'm just gonna put water in this guys. We're definitely not putting any freeze in this because I think it's all gonna go down cylinder five. So we're not gonna do that. And Jess is not gonna tell you on video, but she is in my ass about how many vehicles we have. 
Say it. You can You're tell just them. running out of room. Just running out of room. <laughs> All kinds of room. Why do you have to crush my dreams all the time? I'm just kidding. You're very supportive. You're like a giant bra for me. <laughs> you hold me, support me. Sometimes you get really mad at me and you want to take me right off and throw me on the floor. Hey, look a bra. Okay, so you guys, we're not going to do any damage here because this is like, this, this hose has been in the sun. So it's like when you go to wash your dog. Burn the dog. And you burn the dog. <laughs> you don't wash the dog, you burn the dog. I don't know if you guys know that. Oh. What was that? Fret not. Oh, oh. There's some air. Oh, it's almost full. She's chugging it. I hear it. She's taking it. Take it. <laughs> Deeper. This hose is literally just crushing in my hands. This is broken. Everything's broken. <laughs> it's falling apart like everything else. Did you, did you? Did I pay too much for this? I don't know. Do we? Do we just tell them what we paid, guys? We paid eight hundred fifty bucks for this. Now, in Connecticut money, <laughs> that's like thirty-five dollars. <laughs> you know. Got an overflow. Am I sweating through this hat? I'm sorry, yes, sweet, you're ruining sweet it. patina. I am sorry. I am ruining the hat you guys supplied. I'll wash it for the thousand. I know. All right. Now, let's see if we can run it and get some water circulating. I'm actually surprised, and I shouldn't be. It sounds, I mean, it doesn't sound awesome, but it sounds good enough that I can get it off the trailer. So I'm gonna run it and see if I can burp it a little bit and I'm gonna get back to you guys. All right, well, this has been on the shelf. I mean, look at the dust. <laughs> what does it say though? Stop leak. Radiator? I don't care, we're putting this in. All right, guys, I would never tell you guys to do something like this because this will clog up heater cores, um, passages in the motor, but I mean, where are we at with this thing? It's probably gonna have to be replaced. The radiator's bad anyway. So let's just see if we can shut that radiator up from leaking, just so we can get this thing off the trailer. I wanna see if that transmission works. Well, hat change, because I'm a sweaty ginger. What is, I'm not. So, I put this entire bottle in that thing, and it just about stopped leaking. So it's charging. Well, the, the gauge on the dash says it's charging. Uh, it says it has oil pressure. The oil pressure is obviously coming down as it warms up. I'm waiting on the temperature gauge. It is coming up a little bit. So I think overall, I think we can try the transmission shortly. I might try it while it's strapped to the trailer because I don't know if the brakes work. Actually, here, Jess will take it. And you guys come with me. We're giving this thing a shot. Yeah. 
I don't think the brakes work though. How are you getting it off the trailer without brakes? I don't know. I don't know yet. Cool. Hold on. Oh no, I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Okay. Hold on, let's try it on the strap. Trailer strap. Yeah, Oh, see? Yeah, I was holding it. And we're done. So we need a radiator. We know we're going to be, whether we keep this motor or not, probably not, guys. This thing seems hurt. We are building it regardless. So I got that 4.8 liter LS motor. And we could actually use the transmission that's in it. Because we're not going to be like, well, we might turbo it, though. I got a 4L80E, too. We could guess we could use that. Um, let's look in the master cylinder. All right, let's see if this thing has any stop juice in it because it felt like it had brakes. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. oh. Ooh. well, Ooh. I mean, it, it's good enough. It's good enough for now. It's dirty. It's going to all need to be replaced and it probably, but it's there, which means there's no leaks in the brake lines. So what do you think? You think we should give it a go? I'm scared. I mean, what's the worst case scenario? It runs through the backyard, goes through the holly bush. No, and oh, it maybe it'll actually... take the playscape down. You've always wanted to do that. Yeah. Guys, two birds, one stone. We're good. How do you feel about this safety wise on a scale of one to 10? If 10 is not safe, I'm at a 12. I feel like you have no confidence in me. Is my butthole sticking out? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> This is not an OnlyFans video, guys. I'm not a piece of meat. I can't back up very quickly. This is going to be bad. What's the worst case scenario? <laughs> I get run over? We can't lose you. We can't lose you. You're the Red Queen. <laughs> guys, that's, that's what me and the kids call her. The it's Red not Queen. Funny. Or the Crimson Matriarch. Matriarch, yeah. It's more of making fun of me, that's why. It's laughing with you. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, I got it. Struggle bus. Complete struggle bus. That thing was jammed in the uh, control arm. Can't walk this fast. Well, I got things to do. I'm very busy today. <laughs> very busy. This terrain is not ideal. What's not ideal? The terrain. All right. How are we lined up? To what? To the ramps. I think it has brakes. It seemed like it did. We're going to figure it out pretty fast. Um, I'll just jam it back into neutral or park. And we'll roll somewhere in this vicinity here. Hey, that's where your old radiator went for your truck. We need to get oh, rid of that. That's great. And uh, I don't want you in the way, so. I'll get to my position. Safety third. Here we go. Oh, it's starting right up. Nice. Here we go. Test the brakes. Test the brakes. Okay. Good. Good. Oh, God. Oh, doors are opening. Hey, it worked! Hell yeah! Don't hit <laughs> my holly bush. How much farther can I go back? Uh, five feet. Stop, stop. That's good. Woo! Oh, ho, ho. Thanks. Winner! <laughs> What do you think? That went way smoother than I no thought. No one died! <laughs> and my bush is good! It didn't get trampled! You can't talk about your bush on YouTube! My holly bush. Which is beautiful when it blooms. It's a very manicured bush. <laughs> Not really. I oh, try that my is... best. I try my best. Alright. A little 
a little excited. And it's moving. Yeah! Sexy! Ooh! Bad spot. <gasps> no! No! What? Okay, what is this idiot doing? Driving on my front lawn. It's gonna be burnouts or something. And my dog's going crazy right now. Don't hit me. <laughs> I get 65 miles to the gallon in this hog. You wanna jump in? I don't know. No? Okay. Okay. I seriously wonder what our neighbors think of us at this point. There's just stuff like this going on on a daily basis in my life here. No reverse lights, but brake lights do work. I saw that, and the blinkers actually work on this thing. Right, I'm not sure where he's going. Right, gotta get out of the way before I get one over, because he's coming this way again. Oh my god. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Send it. No. Chicken sending. No. My dog is not liking this. Are you parking this I thing? It's knocking. Are you parking? Another laugh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's liking this way too much. Holy crap. I mean, guys, that's probably fine. Like, just it's... No, she's a little spicy under there. That's where it comes out of the radiator. Who knows? Um, custom seat. You know, in case you... You know, instant seat, so you can take it for a ripper. Um, you know, normally, guys, I don't mind doing some sketchy things, but uh, this is fairly big and fairly heavy, and I do not feel comfortable taking this thing up the road and endangering other people. It's one thing if I run it into a tree in my yard. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Mad Ginger Customs. Uh, this is the new. This is the new project, right? Hot rod ice cream truck. Is this six cylinder gonna stay in it after what we know now? Eh, probably not. We do have an LS swap, we'll probably go with that. We're gonna see if we can get some uh, C-series front suspension components so we can, you know, put a drop spindle in it, we'll put some airbags in it. We'll drop her low. She'll be low and slow, but she won't be slow with the LS. Maybe we'll turbo the LS, probably turbo the LS. Um, what do you think about this overall? Is this, is this everything you dreamed of? Sure, it's running. You're driving it. I drove it. <laughs> it exceeded my expectations. Okay, on a, <laughs> on, on a one to 10, one being everyday life and 10 being you're scared to death, where are we at? Right now? Yeah. I'm down to a three. Three, guys, it's a three. <laughs> She's all about this thing. We as a family, we're actually really excited to do this build. Uh, we're excited to share it with you. If you guys could like and subscribe, it helps the channel out. And if you subscribe and hit that bell, you're going to know when we make vi videos on this and anything else in the future. So things we got coming up, we got definitely getting back on the shoebox. Shoebox is definitely going to be the next video. We're going to bang out some trunk floors in it and maybe some other stuff kicking around it. Um, and then we're going to do some little bits here and there with this. This is going to be a long-term build. And uh, we're going to try to keep you guys up to date with everything we do. I will not do work on this unless I'm gonna record it. That way you guys can see it from, from start to finish. And hopefully you guys can come along with us the first time we sling some ice cream out of it. <laughs> so you see what we do and it's everyday stuff. So just remember guys, if we can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Come on back. I'm scared. I'm scared. Hold on tight. Yeah, I have nothing to hold on to. This thing gets saucy. Um, and you're going downhill. Oh, yeah.